Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and I'm going to show you how to find global health resources using CINAHL Plus. First thing we're going to do is going to go to libraries.marsa.edu. Scroll down here. I'm going to go to research guides and tutorials. A list of subjects there. I'm going to find global health. It's right here. Okay. Global health. And here is CINAHL Plus. There's an EBSCO database. There's two main ones that we that the library subscribes to, EBSCO and ProQuest. They're not the only ones, but like EBSCO is a company that provides many databases, as ProQuest is too. So I'm going to type in some very basic search terms. Okay. I can click search right here, or if I want. I can scroll down. I'm going to look see all these, I call them modes and expanders. I call them limiters and narrowers of your research. I'm going to point out a few things. We did the Boolean phrase by adding the word and. Okay. I can limit my results to full text. I can limit publication date, which is important to keep an eye on. It's just 2010 because you're in the health field. We're looking for relevance. Okay. I can do peer review journals, which is important for a lot of your papers. I can also use evidence based practice, which is really important too, especially if you're in the health field. So it's practice, that's something that's in practice now based on the evidence. Um, there are clinical education modules over here. I don't think you're going to need it for this because this is a very basic search. I can scroll down, I can look at a journal subset, a publication type, a geographic subset, since it's global health, I'm just going to leave them all. I can see which gender and more. This is good too if you need a graph or charts, you can get them in here, you'll look for articles that have this. I'm going to leave it as, as is, let's see what we get. Click search. Sometimes you can limit it too much and you don't get any results. Sometimes it's so much that it's almost impossible to see what it is that you want because there's too many. So this looks pretty good. One through six of six. Methylation in children related to prenatal. Okay, well, that should not. Uh, European birth cohorts, environmental health research, okay, neighborhood level factors related to asthma. Looks pretty good. You can see some of the subjects in here, some of our turns in here. Urban health. Okay. That looks pretty good. And look right here PDF full text. Here's my article, Journal of School Nursing. CINAHL is heavy on nursing journals. There's more in here than just that. Okay. You can download this as a PDF. I can also skip around full text contents, skip around in here in the journal. I'm going to bring your attention over to the far right hand side here. Okay. I can put this in OneDrive, print, email. I can make a folder. If you do make a folder, you have to create an account in EBSCO and then you have to memorize your account information. So if you're good at that, you should do it. I'm not. <laughs> I just usually download it and save it to my hard drive if I need it. 
Um, and this is a site tool, which is really good. I'm going to click on this. And here's the citation format. You can see all the different citation formats that they offer. I'm going to come down here. Here's APA. This is a one that most sciences use. And not all these are correct. So all the information is here, but you're going to have to edit it. And with this one, you are going to have to edit it because it's not in the right format. But you can still copy and paste it into your paper. Knowing that, you need to check the format of this. Okay. So that's how you use CINAHL Plus. Again, it's an EBSCO database to find global health resources.